In recent history, affordable health care has always been one of the top priorities of modern governments. The Constitution states that affordable health care is one of the core human rights, and that is why the government strives to provide standard and affordable health care plans for their citizens. The Affordable Care Act, otherwise known as Obamacare, which was signed into law by President Obama on March 23rd of 2010, a key feature of Obamacare is that it offers a variety of health care plans in a clear context for the consumer and also holds insurance companies liable. The Affordable Care Act takes responsibility to ensure that everyone has insurance coverage and also to enable expansion of Medicaid to low-income citizens. This is achieved by ensuring small businesses quality to offer insurance coverage. In return, this has lowered the cost of health care to all people under coverage. It is also the responsibility of the ACA to ensure that the private insurance market is reformed especially towards sole individuals or small group buyers. In addition, the ACA is also responsible for changing the way medical decisions are made. The Affordable Care Act is structured to enable equal and affordable health care to everyone. The structure is divided into several sections named Affordable Coverage, Medicaid Expansion to Low Income, Delivery System Reform, Prevention, Wellness and Public Health, Workforce Initiative, Transparency, a Pathway for our Biological Similar, Revenue Measures, and Manager's Amendment. The structure depends on individual choices rather than the government's edict. The U.S. healthcare system still leaves many people without health insurance. In 2013, more than 41 million Americans had no health care coverage of any kind. The ACA provides standard and affordable health premiums to the consumer and also gives people below the poverty line financial assistance to buy premiums from the insurance companies. The law further states that 85% of the premiums collected by the insurance companies be used to provide health care services and improve the quality provision of health care. If the insurance company does not meet the standards, they are required to refund the customer. The Affordable Care Act offers several providences such as the Patient's Bill of Rights, which enlightens the patient's choices about their health. The consumer is also given the right to appeal for claims or chargeback to their respective insurance companies and health care plan. The ACA offers preventative care services for the consumer without pay, copay, or meeting deductible. Such services include mammograms, screens, checkups, immunizations, and colonoscopies. The Affordable Care Act has accomplished major roles by providing quality and affordable health care. Some of these roles include providing insurance to uninsured citizens with pre-existing conditions. As a result, there have been a decrease in patient admission to intensive care due to emergencies, and the program has also prohibited discrimination of pre-existing conditions. The Affordable Care Act expanded coverage of early retirees by creating a $5 million program to offer assistance to the employment plan and provide coverage to individuals who retire between the ages of 56 to 65 years, as well as for their spouses and their progeny. In addition, the ACA has played a huge role in expanding and strengthening the Medicare coverage in a majority of the states within a short time. This is established by making coverage affordable to all citizens, including the and pecunious individuals. Even though the ACA has managed to accomplish most of the plans, there have been shortcomings in equity sharings of incentives between the service providers and the insurance companies. Another shortcoming is that the Affordable Care Act is limited of professional service providers such as anesthesiologists who in turn bargain for higher dues than what is normally offered. According to the Act, the future of health care provision is well thought of, as it promises to provide high standard quality health care planned to its consumer. The Act will correct faculty insurance market prices 
hence increasing demand but leaving the structural components of the act unchanged obamacare has changed the health care system of the united states and will continue to do so in the coming years even though it is still unclear we try to achieve high standard care and we can say that we are heading in the right direction it is evident that the insurance comp companies will be more competitive open and easily accessible for everyone